Two Spokane veterans are on their way to Washington, D.C. tonight. A group called Honor Flight is taking them to the World War II Memorial as a thank you for their service to our country. KXLY 4's Eric Looney has their story. More than 16 million Americans served in World War II. David Geringer was in his early 20s when he was a Marine stationed in the South Pacific. Today, he's in his 80s, and along with fellow World War II vet Kenny Hitchcock, boarded a plane today for the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. It's going to be fun, I know. Oh, I'm really excited. Their trip is being paid for by Honor Flight, an organization dedicated to getting the vets to the memorial built in their honor five years ago. Spokane police officer Tony LaMana is the local chapter president. But well, we owe it to them. I mean, the things that they had to do and, and go through. And I mean, I don't think it's, it's not even a question that they saved the world, maybe not individually, but collectively. And World War II veterans are dying at a rate of about 1,000 a day. When Honor Flight started calling Spokane veterans for this trip, the first three on the list had passed away since signing up just a couple years ago. Honor Flight hopes to send 25,000 vets to the memorial before the end of this year. Part of it will be tough, might bring tears, but uh, a lot most of it will be okay. Geringer says he hopes to see some old friends. Just getting to meet a lot of other guys from World War II. It's possible I'd run into somebody I know or, or served with, you know. Both the trip and the memorial are designed to thank all veterans for their sacrifices and their service to this country. Honor Flight hopes to get more local vets to see it, knowing time is running out. At Spokane International Airport, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News. More than 60 local World War II veterans have signed up for the free trips. The local chapter of Honor Flight needs donations to get that done. We've set up a link to donate to Honor Flight on our webpage.